Hello, you beautiful party people. Today, I'm gonna go over my day one of my DEF CON 30 experience. So picking right back off of where we were at last time, I'm meeting here with a bunch of my other friends who were staying in line with me, Envy, Prox, and Digital Tinker, and we're waiting for feathers as well, and we're getting ready to go, meet a couple other folks around coming out that join our merry band. We check to see where we have to go via the map, which is actually quite a bit of a walk. In fact, it's the entire Caesar's form that we'll end up having to walk. I'll end up having to find out exactly how many miles. I'll put it into the comments below the video, but it was a long walk. So blurring everybody's face so you can actually experience what it's like going to DEF CON early morning. This is, we're passing the registration line. And because we were there overnight, we don't have to stand in this line and we just start walking. And uh, we're trying to now go from the registration line back to the swag line. So they put that on the very far back end corner of the conference center. So that means that you can have a clear line going into registration on one side and then turn around and go the opposite direction to go get different swag. So uh, this is sped up 500% and we were walking at a brisk pace. Uh, it took us about 10 minutes to get back there. So then we get in line. These are the different things that they had. The cool thing is about DEF CON swag is that typically it's special for that year only. Only a certain amount of this will end up making it online. After you've made your purchases, this is the uh, five and a half, six minute walk back from the swag area. Again, this is spun up by 500%. Everybody's blurred, so you can see people, but you can't see folks' faces. So everybody in an orderly line, just making their way through. And I will say, staying up uh, at this point in the day, I will have been up for something like 30-something hours. So it's, I think it was like nine, eight or nine-ish at this point. Uh, in the day so stayed up overnight doing online con and then i got to go check out this corner this is just one of the video loops that they had on which was really awesome and since i was part of the contest i needed to go get my badges in another area so after we got that taken care of we got the contest badges in place which is great because i helped run one of the darknet ng contest got a few of these in hand and then we needed to start bringing things down from our rooms into the area where all the contests were going to be because that's not open to the public on day one which is typically thursday things would open up on a friday so fairly empty fairly open uh, we ended up talking with nikita and she ended up uh, being able to give us a larger area to work off of where all these tables are at so folks can go through and create the dark net paper badge like what you see gulo wearing around his neck he's the one who designed it this year fantastic idea uh, as we we're coming out to get ready to grab our stuff, some folks came up and asked to see the contest badge. Uh, then we've got our crew here all set up, which is great. Shout out to the folks volunteering to help us out. Grabbed the things from our room, made our way down to the tables, and then just started setting up. So part of the Darknet NG, obviously. We got digital here, working on with getting stuff up and running at the tables. Digital pyre and a couple other folks, um, oh hi there and such. We also had the uh, wristbands to go through and say if you wanted to be able to have people elbows, high fives, or I'm um, social distancing because this is a second year coming out of COVID for DEF CON being run. So we figured, hey, let's rather be safe than sorry, make it publicly available. Uh, we've got all of the parts and bins set up at this point. I started falling asleep at the table. So folks had me, uh, I went and got a few shut eye. I made sure that I didn't have any COVID. Woke up about four or five hours later. It was pouring rain. I walked out of Caesar's form and just absolutely monsoon and then turn around and there is literally a flash flood going on down uh, behind the lake. It was absolutely nuts. Saw some people out there like in a tube on it. Unfortunately, I missed Hex 7's awesome concert. Heard great things about it. Love his music. In fact, his music is typically what we're jamming out to. Ended up heading to a party, meeting up with Gulo and a couple other Darknet agents. And then that was pretty much calling it for day one of DEF CON. We got a few more days for showing what we were doing on days two, three, fours, and five on the return home. 
If you like, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite memory is going to DEF CON.